Good morning. Of oh, Bitcoin trade idea. 2020 to present episode one. All right. So <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, but I've actually been busy with uh, uh, quite a few stuff. So finally, we are having the video now. All right, so um, this is how this call is going to go, okay? I'm gonna be releasing, like, like I'm gonna be doing this video in form of like in episodes, right? Like episode one, episode two, episode three, four, five, until, you know, present. Okay, so what this is all about is I want to like do a video of all the Bitcoin trade ideas I have taken since 2020. Okay, since 2020, because I, you know, I actually started trading before then, but then I think my first Bitcoin trade happened to be in uh, December 3rd, yeah, 2020. Yeah, that was when after learning smart money and all, you know, I, you know, then looked at Bitcoin and then I saw a trade idea which I marked out myself. Okay, without you know anybody's help, I marked out the trade myself, and I was happy to see it uh, play out. Okay, so it kind of increased my confidence to want to trade, you know, Bitcoin more. And then because I was still, you know, uh, kind of still new to trading, but I've been trading before then, but you know, I wasn't like to advance or anything so you know i just learned smart money then institution i can do mitigation theory smart money queue smart money concept and all so i looked at the chart and then tried to apply what i had learned to pick a trade idea and I actually played out as you can see so i'm going to be walking you guys through all my bitcoin trade ideas i have taken and i have marked out before they all played out so for the purpose of transparency, I'm going to be showing you guys the chart markup before and then the chart markup after it has played out. So it doesn't uh, be like, it doesn't seem like I, you know, use the <laughs> replay tool and just caught it and then draw this and then play it. Something like this, like me doing something like this that has happened already and then putting the um, um, limits and then saying this is before. So you will actually see the date. I like this timestamp on, I like the date stamp on the screenshot on the on the um, trading link. And then you'll be able to know that, oh, okay, yes, I actually marked this out before it played out. Okay, so this is going to be episode one. I can't do all the videos. I cannot do all the, um, I cannot look at all the examples together in one 
video, it is going to be too long because we're talking about 2020, the whole of 2021, and then 2022. So I cannot do everything together in one video. That is why I'm splitting it and then I'm going to be doing them episode by episode. Okay, and then when I'm done, you know, upload it to YouTube and then uh, send it to you guys so you can just uh, just see how how I started and how far I have gone. Okay, and then you know it's gonna be a good uh journey. It's gonna be a good journey. All right, so um, quickly for come to uh Telegram. This is where I. I've, I had to like search for all of the trade ideas I have taken on Bitcoin. You understand? Because I I love to, you know, document my trades. So for every trade, I always take, you know, at least 95% of time. They are always like, I always have the screenshots, even not every time, but I always have the markup for before and then after. Only maybe when I'm taking a trade, from maybe a student or maybe from somebody else call a trade idea for me then i can take it out then i might not mark it up but now even if you call a trade idea for me i would still go uh like i would still go on like to mark it up myself and then so i can have the before so as you can see i created a um a telegram channel just for uh, the Bitcoin trade ideas, so you can try. So I can be fast with it. Anytime I'm, you know, I want to teach, I can just come here and then start picking. So I have arranged them from like when I started all the way down to present. So this is the very first trade idea <laughs> that I marked out. Okay, this is it. So I'm just gonna copy the link. Okay, quickly, I'm just going to copy it and then we're going to paste it here. Okay, so let me remove this. We have started episode one already. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it here. Okay, all right. So this is the very first trade idea. As you guys can see, this is Bitcoin, US dollar, one hour or handle, right? Let's check the date stamp. This is uh, published on tradingview.com December the 3rd 2020 1608 that is 4 08 p.m my time I'm on the 3rd of December 2020 uh 4 p.m I actually marked that Bitcoin trade idea <laughs> after learning smart money and all so as you can see I'm just gonna like do the same thing this is it yeah so I'm just gonna bring out the date like the uh the numbers all right so you can see my entry was my entry was at 19582.90 so then i wasn't doing any of the 50 80s 20 levels and i was just you know just lent some up money so i had to just like okay i wasn't so good with the entries and all yet but then we played out actually so as you can see my stop loss was at 19 um 933.1 so that was about a 350.20 pip okay 350.20 and you know my broker uh my broker 100 pip equals one dollar for me okay so this 350 pip equals the three dollar fifty cent stop loss okay so if this trade happens to hit stop loss, I'm going to lose $3.50 with a 0 0.01 lot size. Okay, so now, what was I thinking then? What made me like to take this trade idea? And I, I, mean, I mean, it's been long, but let's see. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, from what I can observe here is, okay, I think the market was coming in a bullish form, right? We have this higher high, this higher low, and then this higher high low and then we have this i i can see we have this <laughs> liquidity because this is what i use for liquidity then you know uh so we had this candle swept this liquidity and then we had you know another push up that actually took out this eyes and then price rally down broke structure just like i <laughs> i marked out here and then of course you know i was still using the the black and uh blue candles all right and then price broke structure so I can I can see this was my range 
but then you know i wasn't too like too into ranges and all but i can see using the fib i kind of drew it from this from up here to down and then i was looking to play like the open of this bullish candle as my entry with stop loss just above the eye and then i mean i still use this to date you know and then all the way uh take profit all the way down here and then put the sniper <laughs> all right let's see what happened okay that this is the very first trade december the third 2020 okay so here we have uh let's check what happened okay so i'm just gonna lock this so it doesn't move around and then let's see okay so uh I can't remember if I actually started the analysis from a higher time frame. Uh, I'm not sure. It's been long. So I, all I know is I marked out the trade and it played out. Okay. So, um, all right. So I marked out this. I said the liquidity year was swept. I, I can remember. All right. If we, let's check it quickly. Yes. Liquidity year was swept. And also, you know, smart money took out this eye. Okay, this liquidity that is resting at this eye also, you know, we took out this liquidity that is resting at this eye somewhere inside this candle. So somewhere inside this bearish candle, we had that liquidity sweep. You understand? But from what I can see here, it seems uh, I was looking to play the open of this candle as the last buy candle before the explosive move to the downside that then led to the break of structure. And yes, you know, we have this liquidity sweep and we also have this liquidity sweep, right? So the market was coming in a bullish form before, right? We have higher highs and higher lows. So we have higher high, higher low, this high, this low. And then we have this higher high, this higher low, and then this also, right? This high, this low, and then we have a new higher high. And if you check the line chart, you can see it's giving us all of the structure levels. So yes, I saw the break of structure, which I marked out. Marked out, yeah, that's uh, the break of structure. I think that was what I did, right? Yes, so yes, that was where the break of structure was, but then, uh, I don't think I had any templates yet. So I was writing them, you know, uh, myself, like manually. Okay, but now, you know, trading view has made it so easy. So this was where I spotted a break of structure in this area. And I was like, okay, so now we have broken structure. Market is not bullish anymore. The market is bearish because, you know, this is where we had a transition phase where the market changed direction from being from going in an uptrend to a downtrend you know i really don't know how i have seen it then but i think it's something similar to what i am mm, saying now so a break of structure and i had this as where my stop loss is going to be and i was looking to take profits in this area now why was i looking to take profit there uh i can't remember why but i know that okay if i'm to like look at why i can say okay we have liquidity in this area okay i don't know then if i was you know used to the concept of liquidity you know to join smart money to capture the liquidity and all but then i can see we have liquidity in this area equal lows and all but what i was looking at was the break of structure I wanted playing the mitigation and then to go lower. Okay, and my entry was at 19,582, I think 582. Yes, 0.90. So that was a 350 pip uh, stop loss. And then I was aiming for, um, I think, 125. This is 180.92. So 180.92. Okay, I think we need to go uh, a little bit down. 180.92. That was where the take profit was. 180.92. So I'm coming. All right, so the profit. All right, so I was aiming for a one to uh a one to four point twenty six reward to risk. Okay, like. I was aiming for 4.22 reward. 
<laughs> that is four times greater than what I am risking. So let's see what happened. Did it play out? Yes, it did. Obviously, my first trade actually played out. Okay, so I go activated. Okay, it was actually a sniper entry. So I actually saw it. You know, price was there already. It's like, okay, this is going to go down from here. You understand? And then, and then let's see. Okay, so. All right, just wait to see. <laughs> and then finally, we had a move. Okay, so this actually eats TP. Uh, actually eats my TP. Let's check. Okay, so yeah, I can see a risk to reward of one to five. Okay, so this is the trade. Yeah. Okay, go activated the sniper entry. And then, you know, uh, the full reward to risk on this trade was a one to five before market reversed. Understand? But I was looking at a one to four risk to reward 4.26 and it actually played out. I know now, you know, I got advanced and I was like, okay, I, I was, I would be going for a reward of one to three. So my first take profit level will always be one to three. That is how I do it now. But then, you know, as you can see, uh, I think I was still being random, right? So one to four point twenty six as my first as my first um, TP. But we can see this went as far as one to five risk to reward, right? So one to five risk to reward, which I uh, marked out here at seventeen eight thirty one ninety. So seventeen eight thirty one ninety. All right, so yes, so 17.8.1.90. As you can see, this hits TP of one to five. So my Bitcoin trade actually hits targets. That was, that was amazing, right? After learning smart money and all, I decided to try it on Bitcoin. Again, uh, what can we notice? First, I was able to identify structure um, shift, like the market broke structure to the downside. Okay, I think I should be looking for sell opportunities now. All right, and then after the structure break to the downside, okay, next thing obviously should be my range, which is how I do now, right? So I'm gonna mark out the trading range, which is gonna be this as my top range. Yeah, where the stop loss should be. And then this is gonna be my down range, yeah. That is how I do it now. Okay, so I have a trading range now, and then I look to play, uh, I look to take a trade from the lower high, and then to take price all the way down to a new lower low, right? To capture this liquidity that is resting here. And as you can see, liquidity got captured by smart money. And then I think price reversed and went back up from there. But this was a good trade. I marked it out, you know, before all of this played out and it actually went in my direction. I got excited and I was like, I was like, uh, okay, so I'm going to trade, you know, I'm going to trade Bitcoin more now. I'm going to trade Bitcoin more. <laughs> it got actually played out. Yeah, so that was the very first trade. I don't know, maybe I have taken before, but uh, why searching? This was the first I could uh, see. So it played out December the 3rd, 2020. I marked it out and it played out perfect. It gave me a risk to reward of one to uh, one to five. Yes, so that is the first one. And this is it, a risk to reward of one to five. So now let's, um, okay, I want us to do something, okay? If we keep it at one to three per trade, and then we, so we're gonna do one to three per trade. And then we are also gonna do um, what the total reward was. What I mean is, so let's let's do something together to check it quickly. So I'm just gonna bring my notes out quickly. And then we do something like this. Okay, I'm gonna do something like this. So we have for reward of one to three, right? And then we can go all the way to the right. And then we do for a uh, full reward. Like the full reward means what is the total um, reward this particular trade entry 
gave me. Like if I had waited for that long, what would be the total reward I can get from this trade? So for, okay. Total reward. So yes, we're gonna have that. Okay, so we just put this to the right. Okay, and then at the end, we're gonna come, uh, we're gonna do a few calculations. All right, so the first one, oh. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so we, this gave a risk reward of one to five. So for a reward of one to three, we had this as um, one to three. So we are up, let's say we are risking 3%. Let's do it that way, okay? So we are up plus 3% on the first trade. So first trade, we are up plus 3%, okay? If we, um going to take if we are going to take the trade like we took the trade so we're up three percent that is let's say we are risking one percent per trade so we made three times like we take our profit at one to three full profit we're not waiting for any extension in price just once it gets to one to three we are out so this gave us plus three percent all right then the full reward we can get from this is five percent right one to five so um, let's do that, okay. So we don't like go back too far back. Uh, okay, let's just put this very close. Yes, yes. All right, so the first trade uh, plus 3%, this one gave us plus, okay, plus 5%, okay. So now we would be checking it, all right. So we are up plus 3% if you're doing one to three risk to reward. And then the total reward was 5% if you're risking 1% per trade. All right, so that is, that is good. So let's proceed. Um, the next trade I marked out was on the 22nd of December, 2020. Okay, I don't have the um, chat link for this. Uh, so I think I just screenshot the, the page i think that was what i did okay but as we can see this is you know my name published on trading view december 2022 uh 2020 uh 23 11 that is 11 11 11 that's that is a magic number for me <laughs> that is a magic number for me <laughs> all right 11 11 11 yes that was when you know uh I marked out this trade idea. Oh, and it was also on a one hour time frame on beat stamp. So let's go ahead to check it out uh, on the 22nd. Okay, so let's just go all the way to 22nd. Okay. Right. 22nd of December. I think, yes, we're close by. Yeah, okay, I can see up here. Okay, all right, so let me, okay, so since I've explained it, uh, let me just delete it, okay? Yes, so done with that. I can see the next one is year 20 seconds. So let's wait for price to get there. Okay. All right, perfect. So we are there now. All right, so let's go back to, I'm gonna delete this. Okay, and then, yep. So what was I thinking? Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, same thing. I can see the liquidity sweep here. All right. Um, we have the break of structure. Yes, we do. Okay. And I was looking to play this kind of the swap liquidity. <laughs> so we have some like little highs here. So my entry was at 23,964, stop loss just above the high. You know, now I think I have a first target of at 22,820, and then second target, right? So let's see what happened. Okay, so this is it here also. All right, this is it here. Okay, so this is it here. All right, so what was the structure of the market? What was I thinking then? Okay, so let's, 
Um, let's see. Okay, so I think before taking a trade, the first thing I always look out for is what the structure of the market is, right? Right from 2020, that, that, it has, that is how it has been, right? So uh, what was the structure of this market? Market was actually coming in a bullish form, right? It was coming in a bullish form. We had this high, we have this higher low, we have this higher high, we have this higher low, and then we have this higher high. And then market broke structure in this area. Then we have the break of structure. Then I was looking to take a sell, right? Just like I did on the 3rd of December, I'm doing again on the 22nd, right? So the structure has broken to the downside. So from what I can see here, okay, I was looking for the institutional candle, the swap liquidity. And I marked out this very last sub candle before this push big candle to the downside and then we had a little retracement and then push down continued right so my first tp was at okay so let's check if the entries are the same 29 23 9 64 55 yes 24 to 98 yes and then my first tp was at 22 820 22 820 so let's put that as the first tp okay 22, 82008. Okay, so first TP, oh, 22, 82008. Okay, yeah, that is where it is. That is where my first TP is. So as we can see, we have the break of structure already to the downside. So yeah, this is where we had the break of structure in this area. Okay, this was the last ILO. Okay, and then you can see, Though this kind of came down, but didn't close below structure. It was this, when we had this big push to the downside, that structure was broken. So according to market structure, we have this as a break of structure. So the market now is bearish. And then what will be my range after identifying the structure break? This would be my top range where the stop loss should be. This is the highest point of invalidation for me. All right? Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be uh, the top range. And then this is going to be my down range. Also, what can we observe is that we have liquidity in this area. So let me see if, all right. So yes, this was my second target. So now, now I don't think I understand fully the concept of liquidity yet, because as we progress, you will see when I begin to mark out my chart, before I play out, like before the chart, you know, actually before trip, the price comes to activate me, I would mark out my area of liquidity where I want to join smart money to, you know, uh, capture the liquidity. But from what I can see on this chart, I don't think I had understand full, like I understood fully um, the concept of liquidity. So I was, I didn't mark out, um, the area of liquidity here. I was just looking at taking second profit at target two down there. So I wasn't seeing any, I had no like, maybe no full understanding of equal lows, liquidity and all, right? But now, you know, this is actually liquidity here, down here. So we have this liquidity below. But I was looking to take second profit at this, you know, um, this down range here and price didn't get them. So this is my down range, okay? Because in a bearish market, the liquidity sitting at the down range should be captured while the liquidity resting at the top range shouldn't be captured because the market is bearish, right? So I had, I actually saw this before it played out. Okay, so as you can see, I had this uh, imbalance in price. So I marked out this area to be imbalanced. Okay, so I think I understand like I understood what imbalance uh, is then. So this was imbalance for me. Okay, and then we have all of these imbalances also. So price filled it. My entry was at um, the 23.964.5. Okay, if I'm to trade this like now, my entry would actually be at 24K because I love entering, you know, my trades at, zero zeros, 20 levels, the 50 levels, the 80 levels, right? Shout out to John Phoebe 
for teaching me that, right? So yeah, 20 to the zero zeros or 20, uh, the fifties and eighties. But then obviously I was still uh, learning. So uh, just anywhere, I just put it anywhere. I mean, it doesn't mean so, but you know, just to make it look more, uh, should I say, just make it look smart and clean. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I had limit order here. Okay, then I wasn't making use of the long and short, uh, long position and short position. I think I was just making use of um, horizontal lines to look for where my entry was, stop loss, and then first take profit. And that was uh, played out perfectly for me, right? Boom. I got activated and then immediately price ETP went back up and then came back down again. So this was a one, two, three point. 43 before market reversed i'm not sure market didn't come back it didn't come back to take like it didn't come down to take out this liquidity before price rallied up okay so now this gave us a risk to reward of one to 3.43 now let's go back second trade now okay so the second trade okay if we are going for one, two, three, we actually add it. Okay, so let's say plus, okay, plus 3%. All right. But then the full trade, like the full reward on this was like a one to 3.43. I'm not sure. It didn't get to four. It didn't get to four. Oh, it actually did. Sorry. Yeah, it got to four, one to four, yes. So yes, so the full reward on this trade was a one to four, extra 1%, you understand, extra 1%. So for total reward, this gave a one to four risk to uh, reward. So put, So plus four percent. I'm oh, sorry. All right. So the second trade actually gave plus four percent. So now, if you are going for one, two, three, you're up six percent already on your account. If you take the full reward, you're up nine percent. Okay, nine percent already. So now let's continue. Okay, so the second trade was actually a win. You know, it played out perfectly. Gave a one to four reach to reward. All right. So let's check. Okay, this is it. Mark it out the after played out perfectly. All right. And then, okay. So obviously you would know that these are old trades because of the chart background. I think then I still used to have like, you know, different colors on the on the on the background, yellow. <laughs> so now the next one I took was December 29th. Okay, that I marked out. And I think this one really, really played out perfectly. I think it was this one, right? Yeah, it was this. <laughs> so Okay, I published a trade idea, December 29, 2020. Okay, on the 15 minutes time frame. Okay, so on the 15 minutes time frame, I actually marked out a trade idea. Okay, so now let's check it. This is December 29, 9:43 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so let's go. Now this has played out. I've explained this already. So let me delete all of this. All right, perfect. So now December 29th. Okay, up here I can see. Woo, this was massive. <laughs> this is a one to 24 risk to reward. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, it was on a 15 minutes time frame. So we're just gonna go to the 15 minutes and then let's uh, just play it out. Until price got there. Let's see. So what was I looking at? Yeah, I remember this trade. It was very, very amazing for me. Yes, so let's wait. Price is almost there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so we are there now. Let's go back. All right, so on the 29th of December, you know, actually marked out a trade idea on Bitcoin. Okay, for a buy, obviously, because the stop loss is below. 
All right, so what was I looking at then? I can see BOS as the breaker structure. So I understood then what breaker structure means, right? So we had this low, this I, this low, and then we had breaker structure to the upside. Okay, so the market has changed direction from being in a downtrend to an uptrend. So I should be looking for buy opportunities to go to the upside, right? So yes, and my entry was at 26, 324. Uh, let's bring this out. Okay, so 26, 30, 24, stop loss was at 26, 109. 26, 109. Yes, so it's the same thing. Yes. So maybe I, I kind of knew this was actually going to buy up like crazy. That is why there's no TP. It just was open. All right, let's see how far this can go. <laughs> All right. So what was I looking at? Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let us see. Okay, so. All right, so first, now I'm not sure I did this then, but from what I can see, is that we had what this higher high, this higher low, this higher high. And then we had a break of structure here to the downside, right? We had a break of structure here to the downside. So this was a lower low price, you know, gave us a retest, lower high. And now we had lower low, we had a lower high, and then we had a lower low. Okay. And then price broke structure again to the upside, right? And then we have this as the higher high this higher low and then higher high right and then we had this as a breaker structure again to the downside as a lower low low high and then this is what i saw okay i'm not sure i did all of this um analysis back then i can't remember if i did okay but we can see that the market is coming in a bearish form now okay so what i was able to identify the breaker structure here okay because we had the breaker structure here. This was the last. Okay, let's go together. This is the lower low, lower high. Okay, and then we had this lower low. Although price retraced, but this did not close below the last lower low. If you check the line chart, it is still up. Okay, it is still up. So we do not have a new lower low yet. So this was the last lower low. And then we had price push up, came back down, and then finally broke this last, you know, closed above this last structure point, And then we had a break of structure. I was able to see it, you know, uh, this was the 15 minutes time frame. So this is 15, 30, um, 30, that is an hour, right? One hour, 15 minutes after I was able to like spot it quickly. Okay, we have a break of structure. I should be looking for buy opportunities now, okay? And then I had my limits, you know, I was looking to play this very last sell candle. As you can see, this candle had no weak to the upside. So, you know, this can also be considered imbalances in the market. The candle that has no weak. Again, big shout out to John Phoebe for teaching me that. Okay, you know, this um, candle imbalances in the market. I'm not sure if I had like, that was what I was looking at. I made me have my entry here. I'm, I don't know. I can't even remember. I don't know if I had learned if I had learned the concept of you know weakness can do then. I don't know. You understand? But that was where my entry was. And then you know this was the last candle. We have some imbalances here. Did I mark out the imbalance? Uh, okay, no, I didn't. But that was where my entry was exactly at the candle without weak. Okay, that is the bearish candle in a bullish market okay and then my stop loss was yeah which was within the range which was within the range which is kind of dangerous because the stop loss actually should go at the low of the range here this is where the stop loss is supposed to be so the down range okay and as you can see this played out uh perfectly i got activated and i think you know bitcoin really pushed all the way to the upside. So this was my entry here, it was a 214 peep. That is $2.01 um, $2 cent 
if you were using the smallest lot size. It would have given you $2, like the stop loss on this trade was $2.01. Okay. And then this played out perfectly. Like it played out very well. Let's see. So this was the, um, when I marked it out, as you can see, December 29, um, 2020, 9.43 in the morning. And then, okay, so price went up and then gave me a, um, a kind of a morning pattern here, okay? What kind of a morning pattern is this? Uh, 1.8, more like a shark, a morning pattern, right? And then price, you know, came, activated me. And I mean, I go activated, as you can see, you know, a little bit of consolidation at the entry, just be like we have here, a bit of consolidation, and then price, you know, began to move up. Okay, I even did 50% sniper. <laughs> I know my stop loss and all. all. right, so, and then this was it. This was the result of that move. Actually came all the way to one, TP1, TP2, and TP3. It was a very, very amazing trade for me. You understand? So this is it. Went up and up and up. So the total on this was a 1 to 24 risk to reward, right? This gave a full 1 to 24 risk to reward. Uh, let's check. Okay. Amazing. All right, so let's just be patient. Oops, even more, <laughs> that is the truth. He even came like, he gave more, more than 24. So if you're going all the way up, it was like a one to 32. Yeah, one to 32 risks to reward on this trade. I'm not even sure it came back to entry, right? It just kept winding up because I can see there's another, um, there's another limit yet. So I think it went like up and up and up and up and up. So, um. <laughs> This gave more. Okay, so we had this big drop. Yes. And then, you know, price continued, went up. I'm sure it went up. All right. All right, so this went up. This played out perfectly for me. It was an amazing trade, amazing trade, right? So, uh, I mean, the full reward to these can be more than one to 32. But you know, as, as price is going up, obviously your stop loss cannot be below entry again. Obviously your stop loss cannot be at entry, right? I mean, after taking profit at one to three, if you want to be in the trade, you know, for more than one to three, you know, you can start adjusting stop loss, start adjusting your stop loss to a little bit in profit. And as price is all the way up here, you know, maybe your stop loss has been secured to somewhere down here. But I mean, this big drop, might have taken you out, might have just, you know, hit your stop loss in profit and then might have taken you out. So let's just go with a one to 32 on this one because actually before we had a big drop, you know, actually this drop here gave us like a one to 32 weeks to reward on this. So now if we bring this again for a reward of one to three on the third trade. Okay, this is the third trade. Okay, we let's just say we made obviously more than three percent, but let's just say three, okay, percent profit on that. So we are up nine percent now. If you're doing full one to three, but if you actually waited for this to you know really go to the upside, you would have made like you know a one to 32 weeks to reward. So you're up 32 percent on that trade. Amazing, right? So we have not had any loss yet. Smart money is still concept is still working. All right. I mean, I would not take a win on all the trades, but risk to reward will keep me profitable. All right. So this obviously came all the way up here to like a one to 38, you know, even all the way up here, but let's just leave it at one to 32 now. So we are done with, uh, we are done with this. Okay. Yes, uh, let's check the next trade. Okay, I even did one twenty four, but obviously it came all the way up, right? And then the next one is on the sixth of January. So we've entered the new year, twenty twenty one. 
okay, six days into the new year, I had another um, trade idea. Okay, I think I was so excited about the last win without a TP. And then this one, you can see there was no TP yet. So it was just, okay, let's get in and let's fly all the way to the moon again. All right, so this is on the 15 minutes time frame, January 6th, uh, 2021, nine in the morning again. All right, so January 6th, 2021. That is January 6th. Okay, uh, yeah. January. Okay, yeah, this is it. I have them already. Sorry. Just to make it easy. So this actually played out also on what time frame that I mark this out. Okay, so this is on okay, on a 15 minutes time frame also. So on a 15 minutes time frame. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I will discuss this and um maybe one more and then that's going to be all for this episode okay all right so what was i you know saying okay the market was bullish i can see higher high higher low higher high so i wanted to continue to take the market uh bitcoin to the upside okay now the market is bullish i have my structure i have my range and then i'm looking at okay now, was there any kind of liquidity capture at the lower high? So I can, you know, look for that institutional smart money can do and then wait for mitigation to happen. And then I join smart money to go up. I can see we have one. You can see where my entry is. You can see this can do. Let me zoom for you guys. Oh, sorry. Okay, you guys can see this can do, right? spike down captured all of this liquidity that was resting here and then you know we had price you know consolidated for a while and then price moved up so that was where my entry was at 33901 so 33901 okay 0.44 yes i think that is it right exactly now my stop loss is just at the down range i did it right this time exactly down there and at 33 three this is triple three for the six uh yes same thing same thing then at january 6 yes so boom this was the candle yeah i was looking to play with stop loss just down here i have my trading range i was in line with structure everything was intact and i was risking this was a 555.40 peep that is uh five dollar five cents for a 0 0.01 lot size okay so boom Woo, that was close <laughs> That was close. As you can see, came very close to stop loss, but didn't hit stop loss. And then what happened? Boom. Price went all the way to the upside. Okay. This gave like a 1 to 11 risk to reward for me. Okay. 1 to 11 risk to reward. So right before this big drop, it hits target of 1 to 11. So if we go again, we bring this out. The fourth trade was actually a win. Okay, so the fourth trade. Okay, so we have plus 3%. Okay, and then the total on this, uh, total on this. Oh, did I just change this to US 30? Oh, sheesh. I'm sorry. So this is plus um eleven percent. Was eleven percent. Okay, that is a fourth hole. Change this to US thirty by mistake. Oh, sorry. I have to go back, and then I have to draw everything back again. I was on 2021 January. Okay, so this is it here. On January 6th. Yeah. Yeah. On the 15 minutes time frame. Was it 15 minutes or one hour? Uh, let's check quickly. It was on the 15 minutes time frame, yes. All right, so it played out, gave me one to 11 weeks to reward. 
That was amazing, right? So we are winning. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this eats, you know, gave it one to eleven before the big drop. So maybe if you had adjusted your stop loss, you know, uh, price might have taken you out. Maybe where you, anywhere you put your stop loss. If your stop loss was like down here, you know, you'd still be in a trade. If you had put it very up, yeah, you know, this push down would have taken you out. But this actually gave it one to eleven, reached the reward, uh, before we had this big drop in price. Okay, so uh, I don't want to like cover a lot and i want to like break them into episodes by episodes all right so this is the first episode we've looked at um four trades okay the first one if you are going by one to three you made um three six nine twelve so you're up twelve percent on your account and if you were risking one percent and then you want to like maximize it to where you can get to you understand and this is like a one to five one to four thirty two and eleven okay so if we should had all of these together, we should have all of this together. Okay, so we have five, and then we have four, and then we have 32, and then we have 11. So you should be up 52%. I mean, all of this trade ideas from just uh, December the 3rd to January 6th, 52%. Uh, increase on your account if you're risking one percent okay and then if you go by one to three you are up 12 percent. so that is where we are going to stop okay so total quickly i just put the total so this is 12 percent and then this is 52 percent all right so we're going to continue from there uh in episode two Okay, so this is 52%, exactly, perfect. Okay, so yes, this is it. Uh, that is gonna be it for me, guys. We're gonna continue uh, from the next one. Obviously, we can see this, um, the next one here, this was a 105. Okay, then this was like a 122. So amazing, amazing. And then we had this. Okay, not everything hit TP. That is the truth. Not everything actually hit TP. Not everything actually did hit TP. So I'm going to be sharing them with you. All right. As time goes on, but that is going to be it from me. So we are done with episode one. I'm going to like convert it now and then save it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.